Hi everybody, it is Jeannie Fisher, a certified financial planner and senior 401k advisor with Argy, and we are starting a three-part series today really aimed at the professional, uh, the 401k advisor in particular, so I will go down that route a little bit more, but I think this series will actually apply to a lot of different advisors, certified financial planners, uh, and other professionals. So um, we're going to break down a couple of things about social media, and the first thing we're going to answer today, the burning question you all have, is does it really work? Yes. Yes, I'm telling you right now, it really works. Uh, we have been active on social media for a while, but we really didn't start pushing our video content until September of last year. And I'm telling you guys right now, in one quarter, I'm a believer. I promise I wouldn't spend as much time as I do on this if we weren't already seeing results. So what are those results? Like, What benefit are we actually getting from this? Uh, okay, first off, it has really helped us establish credibility in a niche market. Okay, it's really valuable for those of us, those 401k advisors that focus in an area, it's valuable that we do so. It, it helps our clients. Uh, and because we can control who we're talking to and our messaging and our content, we are able to demonstrate over and over again that we do specialize in a certain area and add value to a certain area in our specific niche market. Now back in the old days, you used to have to write a book. I did a lot of speaking engagements, but social media is the fastest way to establish yourself as a specialist in a niche market and get that credibility that you need. Next, it warms up our cold leads. So because we're so active online, when, once we schedule a meeting with uh, somebody we've never met, maybe it's a prospect, maybe it's a center of influence, whoever it is, they have had the opportunity to meet our team virtually. Um, they see that we're maybe not as intimidating as others can be, we're a little bit goofy, we're definitely laid back. And so most of our initial meetings, that ice is already broken. All right, it's a warm lead because they've gotten the ability to meet our team in a comfortable environment and kind of on their own time. Also, because of the exposure that we receive, it opens doors for references and referrals. We have definitely seen an uptick in referrals from existing clients and 401k platforms and centers of influence and believe it or not, other advisors in the industry who don't specialize in 401ks. Now part of this goes back to that idea of we're establishing credibility and making a name for ourselves in this niche market. But it also does something else. We know in this industry that testimonials are a no-no, right? We can't have our clients going out and necessarily sharing the awesome experience that they have. But remember that social media is a virtual networking platform. So just like you were to walk into a room with all of your prospects and all of your clients, you would then have the opportunity to engage with each other. Your prospects would see you um, talking with and laughing with and sharing experiences with your clients and vice versa. Now, when you're active on social media, good or bad, everybody gets to see your network. Everybody gets to see who you're talking to. And what that does is it opens an avenue of communication outside of social media and definitely brings attention to the circle in which you are working. The next thing it's done for us, it has definitely strengthened our existing client relationships and honestly is really starting to turn our service model on its side because we are realizing more and more and more that semi-annual meetings with our clients wasn't really enough interaction. It might have been a great semi-annual meeting and we might have covered a ton of detail and we might have gone really deep. But what we all strive for is more frequent communication, more timely communication. And we are getting fantastic feedback from our existing clients about the content that we're putting out, how timely it is. We are staying front and center um, in our clients' minds, uh, just like we are for those in our pipeline. Which leads me back to the pipeline. You know how you're working a prospect and you like have that fine line between I am being very diligent about the fact that I want to work with you versus this might become harassment. Right? Like it's awkward. Yeah, you know, I mean we have to break that ice and our industry is the longest process ever. It's like 12 to 18 months to work with somebody because hiring an advisor or moving a 401k is a really big decision. Now, in the past it was call, email, call, email, pop in, deliver donuts. Well, now we can stay front and center in a prospect's mind without having to be obtrusive, okay? Us putting content out on social media, we have noticed that this pipeline that we have is staying very warm, 
right? Because people are seeing us in a way where we're not just constantly picking on them, we're just putting content out and our faces and our messaging is just constantly popping up in their news feeds. So definitely warmed up our pipeline in a huge, huge way. Uh, connecting and crowdsourcing. So I'm an open book, clearly, uh, and I think we have really great ideas, but I can promise you we do not have all of the ideas. So uh, what it's been able to do is really open up the door for us to network with other professionals in our industry. We ask a lot of questions, we get a lot of great contacts, we get a lot of great comments and ideas from everybody out there. So just from a practice management standpoint, um, by opening ourselves up, we have actually gotten so much back in return, um, and it's just, it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, no doubt, don't get me wrong, this social media is not just automatically going to create, you know, this 50 plan D pipeline for you, but it keeps it a thriving pipeline. So really you have to use social media in addition to other marketing strategies that you're implementing. And it's all about the exposure. It's all about the impressions. The role of marketing is that a prospect needs to see you at or hear your message at least seven times before they're gonna take action. Well, instead of it being a direct mail campaign, a lunch, a chamber networking event, we can hit almost all seven of those on social media. And here's the catch, you guys. Are you ready for it? It's free. For the most part, it's free. I still don't even have a premium LinkedIn membership. So um, I promise you, I it's far exceeded my expectations on what it's done for us. Um, and it's definitely something that I think you guys should start. So part two of this video series is just going to be back to the basics. Like, what do we do and how do we do it? Uh, so stay tuned for video number two. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.